Hello Coders, Darren here with Renaissance Coders and today I wanted to introduce a new mini series that I have coming up for you guys. In this new series we're going to be delving into camera systems specifically. We won't be dealing with any character controllers but we will be handling uh, different types of cameras that work with a character controller that we created in, in a previous tutorial. So what you're seeing right now is a system that we built in a previous tutorial series that I just completed. If you want to know how to get a system like this working with collisions and everything, this RPG style camera and character controller, um, I'll go ahead and provide a link to that series if you want to check it out. We're going to be using the same character controller to uh, walk through some of the different camera systems that I have in store for this tutorial series. Okay, So again, we're going to be dealing with strictly camera systems. Um, and character occlusion techniques in this series okay so we have two I have two specific types of camera systems that I have in store I have scheduled for you guys if you guys can think of any more particular specific camera systems that you've been trying to find on the internet trying to find some tutorials for but you haven't been able to find any go ahead and request those and we can see what we can do with teaching you how to get that how to get that style uh, that you are looking for but anyway, we are going to be doing the top-down camera style and the RTS, the real-time strategy camera system. So let's take a look at the top-down. With our top-down system, we have the camera that follows our character from this uh, overhead perspective. Now notice that our camera follows the position of our target, but it doesn't follow the rotation. So with this camera system, we have a few options. We can leave it just how it is right now, where we're not doing anything fancy. We can't zoom in and out, and we can't orbit. Um, but we do have the options to, if we want to enable the, the player's ability to, to zoom in on the scene and zoom out on the scene, we can add that functionality. And if we want the player to be able to pan or to, to rotate around the target like this so they can get a full 360 view of the scene, we can also add that option into this camera as well. But again, we don't need either of those for this camera system to work. We could just leave it at this angle, for instance, and play the whole game from this angle. Okay, now one of the things we still have to deal with is character occlusion. So whenever the character is hidden by some object or obstruction, we need to be able to still see the player. So if you've ever heard of a game called Dead Nation, they play the game from this top-down perspective. And what happens is whenever the character goes behind some obstruction, they will highlight the character. So here I have the character highlighting red, and I have the obstruction actually fading out so we can see through. Now one of the mandatory uh, systems that you'll want to have with a top-down uh, top down camera system is you'll at least want the obstruction to be fading out so you can still see your character but you will have the option of whether or not you want to highlight the character and you'll also have the option to change the highlight color alright so no matter how many obstructions we have in the way you can see we have uh, more than one obstruction here that I'm about to go under and it'll fade all of those obstructions out that come in between the camera and the player as you can see me demonstrating right here so this is the top-down camera system that we're gonna be making we're gonna be making one more at least that I have scheduled for this series the real-time strategy camera now the real-time strategy camera is going to allow you to pan left and right up and down um, so yeah, you have this up and down movement and this left and right panning. You'll be able to pan around your scene and it operates regardless of whether or not you have a target to look at. So typically in RTS games you'll have uh, various amounts of targets in your scene that you'll be able to click and move around, but regardless of whether or not you have those targets you'll still be able to pan around as you can see here. Now one of the features that I added to this camera system was the ability to rotate the camera from wherever the camera is currently at so you can get a 360 view of your world. Alright so this is again this is just one of those options. Now the obstruction handler, the, the, the character occlusion handler is a separate system so actually I didn't do any anything different with the RTS camera um, I just left that system on the character that you can see there so it's going to be handling occlusion the same way and we're going to talk about how to script that character occlusion system in this series alright so those are the two camera systems that we're going to be making again the RTS and the top-down camera systems and again if you guys have any other camera systems that I haven't made on our channel yet and you want to see how how to do those camera systems then please request those and we can see about getting some tutorials out for those camera systems alright guys 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the intro to this series. In the next tutorials, we're going to be talking about conceptual approaches, and then we'll actually be implementing it using C Sharp code. As always, though, thanks for watching. This has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.